it's all good. One dude on and the, oh, the we are we are live. We are live about five minutes late and minus a pickle. But that's all right. We got a fedora in the house. We got an outdoor fedora in the house, correct? Outside calm. Outside calm. That's gonna be my gimmick now. I'm gonna be outside. I kinda it. like it. You know, at first I was I was like, man, I don't know if like but you got some interesting stuff going on. Like if you were like in Sioux Falls, Idaho, Iowa, Idaho, like, I don't know. That would be a different story. But like you're in fuck I was Bronx? The Bronx? Brooklyn, Queens? Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Very different. Very different. More exciting. More a lot more action going on. Like um, homeless people and shit. Like homeless people. I just got a home. Uh I got sorry about the noise in the background, everyone. I got um they're redoing our roof. So I think they're almost done. But uh yeah, my I'm wife's co- cousins. My wife's cousin is uh he he's uh, finished up the roof there and uh yeah so do apologize for that but i want to thank everyone for coming through on the second week of football sunday i know it's an awkward time but you know we gotta stay consistent for the two people that are in the chat right now yeah <laughs> uh we had like four in, in the beginning but it's all good so um a couple shout outs to, to dra- the dragons then what's up what's up renee they saw, they saw pickles wasn't here and they were like i'm out <laughs> no nah, man ain't nobody give a shit about pickles man no he's just he's hanging out with some friends uh enjoying the detroit lions versus seahawks game which i'm probably not gonna watch today because i think we're gonna lose you got comics and tortillas in the house he is growing strong i'm just gonna do a quick real quick plug on his show i mean this is crazy dude like when i first saw this guy's show or page i was like yeah this is pretty tight man He's he's got some like pretty cool videos he goes through like you know, an issue like he does a whole issue on the, on the, uh, like on a on a video. But dude, these like at these shorts, man. Like these are check this out. Check out this, this short real quick. My top five comics I'll be reading this week. Before we start, don't forget to click that like and subscribe. I'm Kenny Avengers number one. This team looks crazy good. Ghost Rider number seventeen, part two of Weapons of Vengeance. Wolverine and Ghost Rider teaming up. Dark X Men number one. Another crazy team here. Not sure what's going on with Wolverine there, but can't wait to read this. Death of the Venom verse number two. What a crazy ride issue one was. I'm sure this won't disappoint. And lastly, we have Penguin Takes Flight written by Chip Starsky. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe and keep on reading comics. My top five. Does he have a TikTok? I don't know, uh, but that was pretty good, right? Yeah, I, I think that content type, if he doesn't, I think that type of content would do well on TikTok. It would do okay. very well on TikTok, I think. Yo, bro, here from uh, Horse's Mouth right there, man. Fedora. Uh, for real? Yeah, yeah I, I think so. so. Like, yeah. I, th- I think, like, TikTok, like, they like the bite-sized, like, quick information. I feel so you. I, I, th- I think that that would do well there. Oh, uh, so Brad Selden, Kenneth, Kenneth Walker with a touchdown. Thank you so much because he is on my fantasy team. So I am watching it a little bit. A, a little bit. Uh, Baltimore's got – okay, cool. Anyway, whatever. Yo, I saw my man's uh, – what, what's this dude? Aaron Rodgers, bro. I don't know that much about football. What – what about he 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 uh he's out he he got he got his Achilles all messed up man yo bro that's crazy they paid him mad money and then he just died right there on well fourth he, play fourth play unfortunately man uh pickles has been pickled correct yeah uh no pickles no he is cooking breakfast for the Seahawks versus Detroit Lions uh, game but who cares about football anyway man no I'm I, I do I I do like football. Baseball is my first love. Your Yankees are seven games behind. Or I don't know if you're a Yankees fan or a Mets fan. Let me ask you real quick, dog. I, I, I'm both. How can you? Okay, so like, how do you determine whether you're a Mets fan or a Yankees fan? Uh, I think it's just location and like what your family grows up liking. Because mm. my family, they're from um, Harlem, okay. but uh, a lot of them work for the Mets organization. Um, and my cousin started out as like a ball boy. He got like a job, uh, through like his dad or somebody. Um, and he started out as a ball boy. Then he worked all the way up. Um, and then he was on the Mets party, Pepsi prize patrol, shooting shirts out the cannon. Then he became Mr. Matt. 
then he started working in the office. Then he wanted to get more money and started working for the Cubs. So now he lives in Chicago and he works for the Cubs. So um, a lot of my family is uh, Mets fans. Um, I grew up near in the Bronx. So by default, if you grew up in the Bronx, like there's a good chance you're a Yankees fan. And I lived like a few blocks away from the stadium. So the atmosphere is like a lot different when you like live that close to the stadium. Uh, AOA in the chat. Hilarious. So Shea Stadium is in uh, Queens? It's in, it's in Queens, yeah. Okay. Very very far in Queens. Um, so if you, if you live in Manhattan, are you Queen? Are you is that is Queens closer or the Bronx closer to you? Manhattan is like that epicenter, so it's close to everything. So you can okay. get like it's quick, it's easy to get anywhere. So I think Manhattan has like a mix of both like Yankees and Mets, but uh, I would say uh, it, it really depends on like where where you're at. Geo- ge- geographically because uh-huh. if you're in Manhattan but you're like closer to like the Queens area you'll probably be like a Mets fan but I mean I'm from New York so I'm both and That's as you, you know I always wear the hats that have like the half Yankee half Met logo and I get a lot of shit from other New Yorkers really? So, yeah like random people in the street like oh, what the fuck is wrong with you like I swear like I'm walking down the street with my hat and then they'll be like, yo, like, you got to pick one. Like, you can't be both. And I'm like, I'm from New York. Like, I, like, what do you want me to... Like, it happens all the time. Like, quite Love. literally. One guy was like, what are you, a baseball bisexual? <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> yeah. There was a random guy on the street that told me that. Then I was delivering mail... And then I was like, I was telling him that how there was a hurricane supposed to be coming to New York City. And then he was, he said something like, I can't trust a guy who has uh, a half Yankees, half Mets hat on. Like, so let me just Google this. And I'm like, (laughs) but today I'm wearing the, the Jersey, the New Jersey Nets and the Jersey Devils logo. That's cool. I I think I dig that one, man. That's probably my favorite hat of yours, but. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, Kingdom, yeah, Kingdom of Nerds, go ahead and plug your uh, website, man. If you guys are giving Kingdom of Nerds a follow, his his channel is growing quickly. Uh, I, I should say so. Uh, yeah, plug your plug your. Make, yeah, look uh, look him up. Uh, uh, is that Just how... Don't mention Taylor Swift on his show. Oh shit, we got some Taylor Swift. We got some Taylor Taylor Swift spec though, bro. I'm just cool. Oh, no, we do it really. It doesn't that doesn't exist, man? That doesn't exist. What up, Commander Cody? It's like being both. It's like being both a Duke and Carolina, a Carolina fan. It's a disturbance in the forest. <laughs> no, nah, yeah. I mean, it is. I mean, I, I, uh, I don't know, man. Like, I, I just, I'm a New York guy, so I'm not going to discriminate on the Mets or the Yankees. Since I grew up in the Bronx, I love the Yankees, but all my family, they work, they've worked for the Mets organization. Yeah, for so long. So both of them, my first baseball game was a Mets versus Yankee game in Shea Stadium. Gotcha. And I was able to go because my my cousin worked at the at the stadium. My family we were able to go like right near the bullpen, like right near as close as possible. We could sit wherever we want. So, you know, that's like that was exciting for me as a kid, yelling at the players, taunting them. Uh making fun of my little cousin when the Mets lost and I made him cry. That's not cool. That's I mean, cool. It, it, you, when they, I, I told him, oh, you know what the Mets stand for? And he was like, what? And then I said, my entire team sucks. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. Uh, no, good stuff, man. Little little baseball references for you guys this morning. But I was uh, – I wanted to show this off real quick. Uh, so I was uh, – you know, we're we're looking. We're today's show is about kind of looking back at like dips and, uh, you know, buying peaks a dip, valleys. peaks and valleys, all that shit, right? So check this out, man. Mar- Marvel premieres 1972. Now this isn't. It's a good, right? Good condition book. But dude, do you remember this book and how much it just just blew up 
I mean, I remember seeing this for like 50 to 100 bucks raw in an okay condition. Do you remember this book? I can't see the book. Oh, that probably that would probably uh that probably help you. This guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I actually dig the covers from this Doctor Strange uh era of comic books. Wait, but, that was man, 50 bucks? Dude, this was like this shot up big time. <laughs> yeah, big time, right? Um so I, I this isn't a buy the dip. This is something I saw when I was researching some stuff today. And then just just a, just a little plug. I'm not plug, but just a little something I'm on the lookout for. This is like a three to five year investment. Marvel Studios, Sean Chi, 4K Blu-ray and digital target exclusive seal. Now, this is a 4K. Y'all know on the OTR chat or the OTR show, I, I typically talk about, you know, Blu-rays, 4Ks, like kind of upcoming. But I like to I like to look at the secondary market for older blu-rays that came out during covid because i know people weren't really buying these because i mean who has who who watches on you know who has a 4k anyway but i thought this was kind of a cool little cheap buy it's free shipping on this guy so just to kind of broaden your horizon there so uh, that's one of the the better movies in uh phase four so i 100 percent believe that all the time so uh yeah, man. I, I So just getting into the slides here. I did not share this. I did not share this with Fedora before I came on. So, uh, hey, what's up, Renee? I guess we're up 7 nothing. Uh, last I heard in the chat, uh, Brad's keeping us updated. Thank you, Brad. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a stock guy. I'm a market guy. I'm a mortgage guy, right? So primarily a lot of the shows and – in my posts and all that, I'm saying a lot of eyes. I should say we, we really do like, I really like, like to look at the market and it's really just, you know, it's all about protecting your money, protecting your investments. Uh, Renee, I am not opening up the Pokemon box. Uh, I may do a video later, but uh, not, not on this show, but we may do a unboxing eventually. I just don't got enough people in the chat to open up a $50 box of cards. So anyway, so, there's some there's there's a lot of quote unquote opportunities right and there's a lot of different you know things to look at for whether it be like you you're collecting you believe it you believe there's a kind of a soft spot soft spot in a particular category of comic books it's really tough though right now to really get a good price and you know just just get a good price on like a, a major key and. But, you know, people are still buying on the quote unquote low. Now, whether that's the low from 2022, 2021 or the low from 2019, what have you, it's really hard to kind of compare. Right. But you always want to get, you know, obviously you always want to buy for the lowest price point. Right. But what is the lowest price point? And now I'm not an expert. I just kind of just deal with like, you know, whatever and what, whatever works. I would say 100 percent as of today that. The, oh, this character is going to show up in the MCU potentially is not a reason to buy a comic book. It's just not. Nah, yeah, that's dead. It's just dead for now, right? It may come back it's, five to ten oh, years from now. It's unalive. It's unalive. It's unalive. Okay, it's been uh, unresurrected, if you will. Uh, <laughs> yeah, or get low with. Yo, I'll, I'll twerk, man, for more subs, man. I'll do it. Anyway, um, so I'm we're, I'm taking a look at. A few to buy on the dip, and then other ones to maybe just stay away from. Fedora, I've picked a couple that probably speak to you specifically. There's maybe like two or three that I thought of you on this one. So um, I will I will ask you to comment on every single book. However, I think you'll enjoy a couple ones. I probably won't even say anything. I'll just let you kind of just take it if you feel me. All right, let's get into the let's get into the uh, let's get into the show real quick. But before I do, uh, just want to do our little service announcement real quick. And uh, I want to thank everyone for coming through. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And let's get into the show. Smash that like button. And I'm trying some new stuff. Like I'm trying to do more shorts and, and whatnot. Um, it'd be cool if the if the community kind of told me like what they like enjoy. Do they want to do stuff like, do they want to see just like kind of market things like, not just comic books, but other stuff like video games, like 4Ks, magazines, whatever. 
Um, I'm trying to do more shorts and reels to kind of help the community out. But uh, if you guys could just message me or just let me know, that'd be really cool. Uh, 616 Sean Chi was complete. Oh, crap. MCU Sean Chi came up. <laughs> AOA, man. I AOA is like, like, I feel like AOA, you are very like respected, yet I don't know what you look like. And I'm so curious of like your, your, like, like your whole persona in like real life, but you're like a legend to me. I don't know. I've always admired your comments and all that stuff. So shout out for, thanks for coming through, man. It's, it's really an honor for you to come through on, on our show. So uh, let's see. Uh, and Brad, I appreciate you dog for keeping up with uh, the scores and all that stuff. And yeah, go. Oh shit. It's, it's tied. Yeah, it's tied. Jordan Love got minus six. Okay. Whatever. Fuck fantasy football. Right, let's get into this. So first off, Ultimate Fallout, the second print, not the first print. This book was going for like five to seven hundred and nine point eight, either autographed or just in general. I personally bought this book before the movie came out for one hundred and eighty bucks in nine point eight, and I bought it because I thought of like I wanted, I wanted like a piece of the Miles fandom like ten years from now, right? But I didn't want to get a first print because I think it's oversaturated. <laughs> And second, I just never liked the cover. And I just, I feel like this, him being unmasked in, in, on this cover, it just presents a lot better than like other, other issues. And for 180 bucks and 9.8, I mean, I think that's a really good deal. Who knows one day, like if, if, if we get live action miles or eventually get him, maybe I'll send this in to get signed just for collector's value. But I feel like this has a really good chance. Of going from 180 to 200 bucks and 9.8 to either 300, 400, perhaps even 500 again, albeit not for a long time. But I feel like, as far as collectors are concerned, he is, along with regular Spider Man, the kind of the kind of the, the Midas touch for, for comics as of today. What do you think, Fedora, on the second print, Ultimate Fallout? I kind of like the <clears throat> I like the third print a little better. Like, okay. yeah, like that's just my opinion. I just like the the cover of the third print better, um, because he's taking off the mask. Like, ah, oh, it's me, kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, so, the first print raw is going for like a, it's like several hundred dollars, uh, which is crazy. Um, it's like a few hundred dollars, and I feel like there's a lot of uh, like this, like this is like miles right like no one really like peter parker is slowly taking a back seat in my opinion yeah and i think at some point he's slowly gonna get phased out mm -hmm. um and i feel like this might introduce a lot of new collectors a lot of young kids who maybe don't have several hundred dollars to spend and yeah. the second print might be good for them or mm -hmm. the third print might be good for them so i i think like no matter if you go from first to third uh, he's such like a, an iconic character that I feel like you'll be good, like no matter where you put your money. You might not get the thousand or so dollars out of the third print or the second print, but I feel like it, it's still going to be like a sought after book. That's, you know, my opinion. No, I love it. And uh, the other thing, too, like when I was thinking about this list is like, OK, so if you're going to buy one of these comic books, and you're going to sit on it for three to five years. It's a lot to have to sit on like if you get a first print 9.8 for like let's say 1600 that's the last sale that i saw i think on elite but i'm not sure that's a lot of money to put down on one you know piece of collectibles for the next three to five years it'd probably be better if you took that 1400 and put it in a high yielding um a high yield s p 500 mutual fund Sorry, that's like, that's really nerdy talk. Apologize. Anyway, versus like if you buy this for 180 to 200, that's not as much money to kind of like get into, you know, to have to put up and kind of tie away and like store it, whatever. So this is definitely, in my opinion, a little safer of a pick. I don't really see this going down much more, maybe 150 if like the economy gets, gets a little bit worse and unemployment starts to tick up. People start to get kind of nervous. But I would, I would also recommend do not buy this like for a hundred bucks raw and try and get a nine point eight. Just spend the extra money and get that nine point eight. 
the 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 jury's still out on nine sixes versus nine eights. I know there's a lot of like back and forth, but I mean, let's be honest. Like people want a nine eight as much as like we try and say like nine six and nine eights are the same thing. They're not. If they were the same thing, it would say nine eight on it. It wouldn't say nine six. I'm just gonna say that right now. And I'll probably get a lot of shit for it, but I mean, it's it's there's a reason why people pay more money for a nine eight versus a nine six. It's because it's a better grade. Anyway, uh, what's next? Uh, Flash 92. This has always just kind of been a pretty expensive comic book in general, even before the pandemic. But the pandemic definitely shot this up with just, you know, a lot of hype that this was uh, impulse was going to show up in, you know, the DCU. He's a pretty cool character, I would say, kind of comparable to like Batman and Jason Todd. I would say it's kind of the same comparison with Flash and um, Impulse. And anyway, uh, I just, I saw this, I bought this actually for like 15 bucks in an, in a newsstand. And it's pretty, it's pretty clean. I was actually pretty shocked. I remember seeing this going and not even during the, just the pandemic, but just like prior to going for like 30 bucks in, in raw in in a direct edition. So just kind of, um, just, just kind of, Yeah. Just kind of something that I thought to look out for, but for 15 bucks in a pretty good condition newsstand, I'm saying buy it. What do you think, man? Wait, what's the, what? What is it? How much is it worth in nine eight? I think it goes for like two fifty to three hundred and nine point eight in the newsstand. I I mean I, I'm not a Flash guy. I know nothing about. I don't even I, I don't know anything about Flash. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna start off with that. But I will say I've never seen this book before. If that uh. If that matters, but I also know that they got that um that DC logo where with the where the direct edition is, and I know those goes for a lot. Does that have that variant? The DC. It does. It looks like. Uh, and I I knew about that sale. I mean, I don't know if if Kingdom of Nerds if he posted on his Instagram or on his show, but I remember yeah the the DC variant goes for like five hundred. Um, yeah. Super tough. Yeah. That's like the that's. That's the impulse book to get, and AOA impulse is second only to Wally West and DC Speedsters. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I just for some reason when I was a kid, I always loved this cover. I was probably like in my teen years when I saw this book, and I wasn't huge into comic books back then. I was kind of like going away from comic books to like, fuck, I don't know, something else. But I remember seeing this book and like, I was like, man, that's that's a pretty cool character, and I've always been. I won't say like a diehard Flash fan, but out of the DC comics, like it was always Flash, then Batman, then Green Lantern, probably. But have you ever seen this in, in Midtown before? No, 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 no. I've never yeah. seen that. Yeah. We we get we get hundreds of books a day. Like we get we get like a truck that comes in. Yeah. What are these kids screaming for? We get hundreds of books a day. Not a day, but like every other day. Um, and we get like a huge, huge back issue selection. So we have to sort through all of them and, and, and get them alphabetically and get them all on. So I know everything that comes in and I've mm -hmm. never seen that. Oh, I'm, that's pretty cool. I'm, yeah. I'm wondering if like people are holding on to it or like, it's just so rare and like, mm -hmm. you know, there's not many because like yeah. people destroyed them back in back then, but yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely tough to find a nine point eight. I just had a nice copy, um, and I just I dug the Flash TV series. Me and my wife watch it together, so um, that's another reason I, I was picking this book up too. Bloodstone number one. I got slammed on trying to rebuy this on the quote unquote dip in twenty twenty two. Um, I remember buying this for like four fifty to five hundred and nine eight, and then I had a couple of raws and for like one hundred fifty. And I got creamed on this. So, Comics Embrace, thanks for coming through. Oh, and by the way, everyone, we are doing a giveaway at the end of the show. The uh, sorry, these two books. There's a first print in there, and then just some old Master Kung Fu goodness. Uh, why did I buy this book? There's something with this book. I can't remember, but some uh, some older book stuff for you guys. And uh, I got destroyed on this book. I dug the one shot the one shot uh halloween special that came out last year and i'm really i'm really excited to see it in color i guess i hope they Elsa do another Bloodstone one is supposed to be in that 
Is she in that? I've never seen the, the, the Halloween special, so I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's in it, but she has, like, darker hair. She doesn't have blonde hair. Um, let's see. AOA wants to ask, what's the biggest slip-up on a key book Fedora ever made at the shop, like, mispriced or dollar bin left over? Uh, so, um, we, so there's a whole team of people that price it before it even, it even hits the warehouse. I mean, before it even hits our store. So when we get it, the books are already priced, but we still kind of have to go through them to sort them and make sure that they get to the appropriate back issue areas. But I will say that a lot of people make I mean, I don't, I mean, they, like, they, there are some slip ups. Like, I saw in a dollar bin, I, I said this last show, but I'll, I'll just tell you again. Um, so there's an outlet in Astoria, and that's kind of where they let all the books go. Like, it's like yeah. a huge 99 cent bin selection. It's mm -hmm. a lot of wall books for like pretty, sometimes very reasonable prices, sometimes like, eh. Um, yeah. There's a lot of regulars that go there. The craziest thing that has ever been pulled from there was a Adam Hughes Supergirl variant, the one where she's like laying on the meteorite in the dollar bin. So uh, that that's one, right. That's Spider right. Man, a customer told me just today, well, on Saturday, just yesterday. He was just like, oh, you know, uh, my buddy Sean found the Spider-Man War number one today, uh, last week. Uh, so in the dollar bin. Um, and then somebody also found, uh, a, what is it? Um, what's that? Spider-Gwen, the first appearance of Spider-Gwen um, in the dollar bin. Yeah, so, it, uh, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, Edge 2. Yeah, 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 yeah. First print, first print, first everything. So, uh, some things do get through there. There's a lot of like DC one in twenty fives. I think on the OTR show, Trey highlighted the first appearance of Ghostmaker, and um, I found that one in twenty five in the dollar bin. Uh, you know, back when I was like a customer. So, there's a lot of there, there's a lot of cool stuff you could find. But you really have to look for it, and you really kind of have to be consistent with how many times you go. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's some slip ups there. There's a lot actually. But yeah. You, you just you kind of just gotta find it. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, man. Uh, so Fedora will send me just kind of random like just stuff. He's like, bro, look at what I found or blah blah blah, and it's crazy, man. It's 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 insane. Like the stuff that he finds, even like in today's. You know, so just like the other day, like, what did I see? Half price crook. Here, I'm gonna show this guy. Oh, I'll show it to you guys later. But half price crook had an amazing find at a half price books, and I think, to my in my opinion, half price books still mislabel stuff in certain areas. The one near me and Lalo uh, in the chat and Linwood, um, that's Comic Tom territory, and so I think they just know. Like, whenever he rolls in, they just know that he he's finding books and because they're always either overpriced or they know so anyway yeah bloodstone number one i would say do not buy the dip here i think a 9a went for like 400 four, four and a quarter i it's it's cool but like before before the mcu spec came out about bloodstone i never read i never heard about this book it it's a really cool looking book like it looks like a video game on the cover of a marvel you know kind of cover but like like I NES. Like NES, yeah. I just don't see any upside in this book anymore. And I mean, unless you're like a huge Bloodstone fan, but like, like I said, man, I actually prefer the later issues. They look a lot better, like more, look more Indiana Jones like. The story is actually pretty cool if you're actually reading the book. But yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I, I, I'd say do not buy this book in my opinion. But that's just me. And I talked about this book last week, but I just wanted to keep it on. But Kanan won first appearance of Rebels. I think this is a definite buy the dip. This is going for like 50. I bought one for like 45 plus shipping on eBay in pretty clean condition. Probably get a 9.4, 9.6, maybe a 9.8 out of it. But yeah, I just think that this is the better play for any Kanan book. Yeah, people are calling it like the cameo because the 
but the whole team's on like one page, right? But I know the the market says Kanan six is the book to go for, and I can't I can't argue with the market. However, I feel like this is more of a sought after cover because it's a one in fifty, because it's a dark cover, it's tough in nine eight, um, all that stuff. Fedora, I know I've asked you this in the past, but you're not a big Star Wars fan, correct? And what do you think about this book? Uh, it's hard to keep that book on the on the shelf, actually, because mm-hmm. that like that that like any Canaan books, that's like a premium. Yeah. So uh, we get like a lot of tourists, moms, and like you know just people coming in like, oh, you know, I like Star Wars. Oh, give me one second. There's a motorcycle passing by. It's all good. But we we get like a lot of moms and like tourists that are like, oh, Star Wars, like like what's the good Star Wars comic to buy somebody as a gift? And we always recommend Kanan. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there's some other people that just walk in and they see it and they're like, let me buy this right now. So we've sold like that one and the other one, the uh, like the, the one that the market says to buy, the purple, mm-hmm. it looks like a purple cover. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We get a lot of those in and like we can't keep them up there for longer than a week or sometimes a day as soon as we put it up somebody comes in and then they just buy it outright mm-hmm. so uh yeah it's like people really really believe in this book from i don't know like tourists that love star wars that kind of know what it is or just you know hardcore fans so yeah, yeah. I, I i would say uh buy the dip hey always says i don't know it depends on what happens with ezra and ahsoka if this book keeps value um yeah and i think what ha- also have this has what this book has has going for it is that it's multiple first appearances of a, of characters so i agree however i think what keeps this for me is that or what 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 speaks for this to me is that it's going to be one of the, i think i feel like it's that i feel like the rebels franchise is going to lift star wars either up or down. If Rebels is successful, a new generation of fans like my nieces and nephews are going to are going to love the property and it's going to bring more money moving into Rebels type par- paraphernalia, not paraphernalia, um <laughs> media. <laughs> I don't know, that sounds like a cop. Um so yeah, so I, I say buy the dip 50 60 bucks, can't go wrong. My thoughts on Ahsoka so far, I think everyone... So, this is crazy, man. So, I was watching Ahsoka with my little niece. She's about eight years old. And I was like, hey, want to watch Star Wars with your uncle? And she was like, yeah. So, we go in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, and the animation variants, for sure, are very underappreciated, Brad. Yes, that's a very good point. She's usually very, you know, like talkative, like a little kid, you know, all that good stuff. But we watched that episode. And she hadn't watched any of the episodes prior. And she she just focused on the show. So I loved it. I thought it was so different. It was such a great, like, kind of... That relationship between Ahsoka and Anakin is, is really unique. I don't think you have one like that in the Star Wars universe. And it works. Uh, I think people that were kind of confused at the age difference with Rosario Dawson and not watching Rebels... Or just like why why is there an older character playing like this younger character? It made more sense after the show, so I think it answered a lot of questions. And just kind of the culmination, the culmination of Anakin turning into Darth Vader, from like kind of a guilt standpoint of Ahsoka. I'm getting way too deep into it. I loved it. I thought it was great. Um, the fact that it spoke to a you know an eight year old uh, kid. I think it says that Filoni did a really good job hitting all these different age kind of um, ranges or whatnot. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I did. Yep. I was like, either we're painting or you're watching the show. So she won't pick watching the show. Uh, no, she's, she's so funny. She, she, she's into, she loves Transformers. She, she now watched the Rebels cartoon. She never did when she was, she was pretty young when it came out. I don't, she wasn't actually alive. But uh, yeah, it's good stuff. And Brad, it's okay, man. It's okay. Uh, the other kids don't like any of the stuff I like. So, were leg restraints needed? No, food. I was. I gave her food. I fed her. People, come on. You know, it's 
It's good stuff. <laughs> anyway. Uh, next up, we're I'm doing a comparison. <laughs> Uh, uh, Fedora, what do you think about the one on the right? Uh, you buying the dip here, dog? You buying the dip? I actually saw that in the dollar bin. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> That's literally at the, in the dollar bin in my job. I'm I'm like not even joking, dude. So you know, it went from if you got FOC on this, it went to seventy bucks. Now it's back down to a dollar man. This book came out three fucking months ago. So anyway, if you paid 70 bucks for it, I'm sorry. Like that's stupid. I want to have that person on the show. Like yo, I want to have that person. I want to have that person on the show and have an intervention. Like, where did you Why, where did you bro? find out about this show about this? Like, what do you do for a living? Can I sell you some of my books for 70 bucks? Because yeah, for real. So we're not buying the dip on this book, right? Right, Fedora? Uh, the dip is a dollar, so I don't want to go back. And... <laughs> the dip is <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'd like to, I might this might back. be worth the dip by the buy the yeah. This might be worth if you can get it for a buck. dollar. Sell it for ten. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, that's a nine hundred percent increase. You know, return on investment. If you could find ten of them in a dollar bin, holy shit! Now we're talking, right? So, after fees, all that stuff. File this under slot. <laughs> File this under. File the site under prostitute employees. <laughs> oh man, Michael, you're cracking me up today, dude. Um, NYX3. This definitely dipped. Uh, I sold a 9.6. I bought for I think I, I want to say like 250. I sold a 9.6 for like like six six eighty, six fifty, I want to say. It's dipped even more to like 500. 9.8s are under a thousand. Okay. So I will always love this book. I talked about it last week. We talked about it last week. Um, Fedora, have you seen this in dollar bins at, at Midtown as well or no? Nah, 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 nah. Okay, all right, all right. I, I Someone saw this in a dollar bin like down, I think somewhere like down south somewhere. And I was perplexed. But I said this last week. This was like the height of Marvel's like amazing like writing and combinations of writers and artists. Like... This era, in my opinion, is like the attitude era for wrestling. There are just so many good properties and first appearances that came out during this era of the early 2000s. And I mean, this is this has to be like the cover of the decade, in my opinion, for the 2000 era, maybe century number one. But this one just it just there's so much going on visually on this in, in this cover. And it's done by one of the greats. Again, 9.8s go for like 900. I'd probably like if make an offer at 850 just so you can kind of save on that taxes and and uh you know shipping all that good stuff but man this is like definitely buying the dip on this one this was going for like two i think at one point it was like 1409.8 like even and that was kind of like a buy the dip but this is kind of softened for whatever reason there's no mcu spec in here for me this is just strictly like this is like a cover of the decade for me type thing so and yeah comics embrace man for sure. So, uh, are you buying the dip on this, Fedora? Uh, uh, I mean, I feel like with, with, with all the other stuff that's going on with, like, DC, like, DC's kind of hyping up a little bit. Um, there's, like, a bunch of stuff that's going on uh, that's, like, it's going to be a while before we see X-23 yeah. um, in anything for a very, very long time. Uh, so, I feel like it could dip even lower. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, you could buy the dip now, but I mean, I feel like it could go even lower because it, it's just going to be a long time and there's going to be hype in the MCU for different movies and different characters and DC is going to start getting crazy if James Gunn gets it together. So everybody's attention is going to be elsewhere. So I could definitely see this book dipping. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a good point too. I mean, again, the economy is like, it's really odd with the economy going on. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm, mor I'm a mortgage broker full time and, you know, rates are at all time highs, but people are still buying homes. So I think the big thing with that is like people have money to spend on a home, but like maybe they're not spending so much on stuff like this. So yeah, it, it's definitely like a opportunity to take some advantages. One thing too that Fedora, you just kind of reminded me about is Trey on 
it wasn't on OTR, the original OTR, but on Brian's channel, we did, we were, they were doing shows on Wednesdays and they called out, you know, six months prior to James Gunn going to DC about the dip in DC books. Now, I don't know. You kind of have two things working for you. One hiatus on Marvel movies and, and shows that just aren't doing very well. There's just too many, like Lala was saying in the chat and Brad, I believe maybe it was, yeah, I mean, it was Brad or Michael. I can't remember. And then, so you have that, and then you have, the, I mean, there, there's no X-Men yet. So if she's in the X-Men universe, quote unquote, this might be that same version a year or two years from now where you could buy X-Men first appearances or modern first appearances. Like I, I'm saying X-Men first appearances from like silver and bronze, but like maybe those more modern ones. Yeah, it may take some time to get there. But again, you may you may be able to get some good deals and all that good stuff. So uh, I know Jubilee's number one is like our first appearance is kind of one that's a weird one for me. I don't know if I'm going to buy that dip, but we'll see. Uh, these two always seem to baffle me. And so I put them not in the same category necessarily, but just on the same slide. So spawn number one, um, I remember seeing this 9.8 going for like 800 to 1,000 in newsstand. And the recent one I saw was like 550 to 600. The direct editions autographed go for like 450, 9.8. Um, there's a ton of them out there. I would buy a 9.8 raw on the dip for like 200 to two and a quarter, which I've seen it sell for. And maybe just get signed by Tom McFarlane. Like, again, forget the whole, there's a movie coming out, all that. This is just like, I mean, this is like buying Stan Lee's like, you know, main character. The Todd father is basically the Stanley of our time or the past 30 years. So I would definitely buy, I'd buy a Newsy if you could buy one for like 500 and 9.8. But yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's, it's, it's a huge print run, but I'll tell you what, kids weren't really taking care of this book. I know adults were at the time, but like, they're probably out of the comic books. Fedora, man, what do you think about this? Uh, there's just too many spawn books. And I know that there's like a lot of kids that come into the comic book store, mm -hmm. but a lot of them don't know who spawn was. Actually, there was a, a customer, he comes in and I guess they're like teenagers, like a couple, and she really likes Venom. So yeah. I was like, yo, you're buying all the edge of the Venom verse. You're, you're really into Venom. Um, I was on my break at the time and I bought her a copy of spawn number one for her and her boyfriend so i was like oh, here cool. read spawn yeah I, listen, i'm a nice guy because i really wanted them to read spawn because yeah. there's not many kids that know spawn and the ones that do know spawn only know him from the new mortal Kombat game uh yeah <laughs> that's so funny dude that that's what he's known as oh the dude yeah. from mortal Kombat, and i'm like yeah the dude from yeah mortal that Kombat. yeah that yeah of course right right yeah 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 so I don't know if I feel like something needs to happen with Spawn on like a major level, on a mainstream level to kind of get that attention back. So that's why I feel like there could be a dip in uh, the book. As for Null, um, I think what Null needs is he needs a really good writer because I feel like he's, he's, he's one good writer away from being like up there with Thanos and like, I don't know, Galactus and all these other iconic characters. He's just one good writer away. Um, mm -hmm. He's, he's an awesome character. He's has, he has a great design. He's sleek, you know, like he's got the sword. He's a badass. Um, and I just think that he needs that. Uh, I think they, they just need to let him chill for a while and then come back with Al Ewing or like that, like that would be my first ballot pick to write. No, I, I would put Al Ewing on it and just do like an immortal Venom book and have no come back, you know, and, and really uh, do something crazy with them. Um, but if I had to pick between the two, like what dip to get, it would probably be no, because the upside for no is, is a shorter, uh, it's going to be shorter term than spawn because you're probably going to be, who knows when that movie's going to come out? Who knows if the movie's going to do well? You know, like, the, like there's just so many things going bad for Spawn and facts of, like, it's high print. 
Uh, a lot of people's got it. It's easily accessible. You can get it anywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can get Todd McFarlane's signature anywhere. You know, yeah. so not many kids seem to know about them. Um, rather, it's Venom. Venom's on fire still to this day. So uh, that just ranted, but. No, uh, you said Al Ewing. I was thinking Philip Johnson. I mean, he's on that Incredible Hulk run. Um, I, I, I think, I, I mean, the reason I highlighted him is so, I didn't see this dip that, I mean, okay, so you, I remember back in the day when we first kind of met and we're kind of exchanging like DMs and stuff, like, you were like, bro, like, this Null is going for like 2500 because of like a little scene in like Venom 2 and all this stuff and I was like, oh, did wow. did you see that? Yeah, yeah. They I mentioned saw him in the movie. A, a little bit, right? Like a little bit. Like a tiny, tiny bit. And people went crazy. Which is just like prospecting baseball cards, right? So anyway, uh, I I was like, I never, I, I used all the money I made off this book and just bought more. Because I didn't care. I liked the, I liked the, this comic book, this character was the reason I dived into having the hobby pay for itself. Uh, I couldn't get enough of Null. I liked how he was always in the background of stuff. And I can't remember a time where I would like look at the updates for an upcoming series, KIB, King in Black, um, and just could not wait. I was like, it's going to be another whole year till we get the King in Black series. And yes, Michael Baker. Unfortunately, you are correct. He killed him. The funny thing was, is I tweeted at Donny Cates right after the book came out. And I said, dude, is he gone forever? And Donny Cates replied back to me and he said, I'm not saying this isn't like a plug to like, oh, Donny Cates and your friends because uh, we're not. Uh, he wrote back and he was like, what's dark never dies. Or some, what's black never dies or something. So obviously, like, he's going to come back in some form or fashion. I think he's already, like, on the cover of some book coming up. But, yeah, he's, like, one of those characters, like, you cannot mess him up. You can't mess up the art. You can't mess up the story. Because he's such an intriguing character that you can't really replicate. And that was what was so cool with, with King and Black, or with uh, with Noel, is, like, you. it's an unreplicated character. I can't think of any other character that came out in modern times, especially a villain that has just been so dark, so just eerie and so great for the community as a whole to read about. So as far as the market's concerned, I, you know, this was going again for like a thousand bucks and 9.8 on average. And then it shot up to 2,500. It's dipped back down below around like 600. So I feel like, this is still speculative. Even that's like, too expensive. Yeah, and I think it's just people are just like holding on to it. I'm one of them. I have three copies of this book, but it's yeah. one of those. It's one of those yeah. books that. Yeah, 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 sir. They're all signed too, nine point eight. So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Segment and, and <laughs> the segment and the. <laughs> I got the segment and Donnie Case double sig. You know, whatever. But it's just man, like oh, and, whatever. Uh, just a double sig. No, I mean, I, I always say that whatever part, but yeah, yeah. I, I, and I, you know, I don't care. Like, I just love this. Co- I, I, you know, it's, it's a, it brings back memories of a good time reading comic books. And uh, hopefully, Donnie Cates comes out and either rewrites him or starts another story. And I don't mind like little nuggets of Null. You don't have to have like a Null like, mini series. I, I, I don't want Donnie Cates touching another Null book. I, like, really? Another yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm over it. Like, like, no. I, like, he can't be doing this, bro. Like he, like I like let that character be with somebody more capable, in my opinion. Like I, okay. I feel like right now I've already seen enough from him to know like he's kind of like the Michael Bay of comics. Like, uh, <laughs> like uh, who who else is another director like that? It's Michael Bay, and it's the who's that did that dude that did Avatar? Oh, James Cameron. Yeah, this is James Cameron post Terminator Two. <laughs> Like, <laughs> like, I was, who, did the, who did Bad Boys? I think it's Michael Bay. I'm not sure. That was Michael Bay. Yeah, Probably. yeah, so, yeah. He's he's like the Michael Bay of comics, bro. Like explosions, blowing shit up, action. Like he's good with that. But 
I feel like you need, no, no. You, you need like Christopher Nolan to do. You need a Christopher Nolan type writer. Is that what you're trying exactly, to say? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right. You heard it here yeah. first, man. You heard it here first. You know. You know. I think it'd be cool to have. Um, and this is like this is aging me a little bit. I think it'd be cool to have Kevin Smith write comic books again. Kevin Smith. Yeah. He wrote uh, a Hit Girl book. Uh yeah, I remember he wrote his Daredevil run back in the late nineties, two thousands. Was like that Marvel Night series was so good. I loved like it. Kevin Smith, like Jay Silent and Bob. Yeah. The, the last thing he wrote was awful. Oh really? Yeah, he did the the Hit Girl. The the I think he wrote the Hit Girl solo series, and I was like, Ew. Uh, oh man, I didn't know about that. But I remember when he wrote when I, stuff I was reading that he was writing was like hella good, but. Anyway, um, we're about halfway done with the show. Thanks, everyone, for stopping by. Please do this for me. I really appreciate it. And we're doing a giveaway, so do not go. Because we're doing it at the end of the show. And, uh, you know, bring whoever in if you want to. Uh, we'll, we'll try and wrap it up. But if you could do this for me, that'd be great. Oh, you're oh, right, man. After he did Ke yeah, the He-Man kind of sucked. Actually, no, I didn't mind the first couple episodes, but yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so, sorry. I'm, I'm trying to, I, my fantasy team's getting kicked. But anyway, that's all good. So, Miles Morales, Spider-Man number one, the hip-hop variant. Uh, this is dipped about 110, 100 bucks. I even seen it lower in Raw. And uh, Young Avengers number one. This is dipped to 100 from 300 to 100 bucks raw. I saw it at a comic book store near me for like 300, and I was like, dude, you're not selling that book. It's not even in near mint. But uh, we have that book at the. How much are you guys selling it for? Two. Two? 200. Yeah. I've, yeah, I mean, that's Midtown prices, right? So, I mean, I'm I mean, not mad at that. But I, yeah. I don't... It, and this is 100% like. This is not the, you know, I actually read this, this, the one through nine and it's, it's actually pretty well written, but the fact that this book skyrocketed because of MCU spec, again, it's, it's like Young Avengers is going to have to be really good. It's going to have to really, I think it's, I think the problem, here's the big problem that's overlaying all these comic books is that a majority of the people that are collecting comic books are like 35 to 50. What's going to prop these books up is you're going to have to really speak to the ones younger than that age group in the next five to 10 years because, because they don't collect comic books like the older guys do. And for this to ha increase in demand, you're going to, you're going to have to speak to a different onset of age group. Just my opinion, but th that's for young Avengers. This Spider-Man, Miles Morales, hip-hop variant, though, with the NOS collab or whatever you want to call it, I fucking love this comic book, man. And I want it. I want it. I want it signed by somebody. I want it high grade. I want to put that up on my wall next to my old school NOS vinyl. Um, this is just 100% like, I don't give a shit. But if I can get for 100 bucks in high grade, I'm going for it. I saw this going for nine eight. So we're going for like eight hundred bucks back in the day. I don't know what nineties go for right now. Fedora, why don't you give him some commentary on this while I look that up? Oh, uh, I I don't really care for the Young Avengers. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I got um, it's whatever to me. Like I I don't. I I mean I would I wouldn't even pay fifty dollars for the Young Avengers book. Yeah. What about That's, that? What about that? Uh, not the Nosk book. No, nah, no, nah, the Nosk book is 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 valid. Is valid. It's a homage. It it it. Oh, three hundred and nine eight. Yeah, CBCS. Yeah. Oh, CBCS. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but still, I mean, like, and like, like it's. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really hasn't dipped that much. I know it definitely dipped in nine point eight though, right? I mean, like this was going for like four hundred like bucks. This is this. Is, I mean, that's fifty percent. You know. Um, I saw Raws go for six hundred at one point. Something yeah. crazy like that. It was it this, was a crazy number. This book is nasty, man, and it's it's. I mean, look at this one. This is a foreign, but I mean, if you like foreign books, 
a 9.4 went for 150. I mean, you don't see one 9.4s going out for 150 bucks anymore. So, um, even an 8.0 went for 102. Like that's crazy, dude. Like, yeah, I mean, this this book's holding value, and it's 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 miles, you know, all that. I I think it just could be people that don't know like what grading is that just wanted mm -hmm. to hang it up. Yeah, like they don't care about grading all that shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's how that's how some people are. Like, there's some people that you know they have like a vague idea of comics, and they yeah. just like their favorite characters, and they they buy it. I mean, the nine sixes go for. I mean, Raws. I mean, guys are asking one sixty nine. You know that two thirty nine for this one. Yeah, but that looks um, a little dicey. You're gonna pay two thirty nine, and yeah, there's a black cover, and you're gonna press it, and you get a nine six. You're fucked. Yeah, you got to get a good presser to, to take a look at this, you know. So, um, anyway, well, cool, man. I think we're we're that Miles Hip Hop Ross still fetching around 150. Yeah, man, that's a that's a solid that's a solid buy, in my opinion, man. They're so tough, though. It's so it's so tough, right? Those, especially those hip hop variants, man. They, it, that paper, that paper is no good. I, I pressed a couple of nine eights myself, uh, but yeah, it, it's it's. I'm I'm not saying like I'm the best press in the world because I'm not, but that that's a tough one. Yeah, so getting to custom some some Asian MCU spec here. Let's see, White Fox first appearance cost contest of champions the one in fifty variant. I want to say she's on the cover. Uh, this was going for like two hundred in raw, and now it's going for like eighty to a hundred bucks. I'll buy for around that price, but sixty five is kind of where I want to hit. And then the War of the Realms variant number one, first appearance of a shitload of Asian characters. This is the ugliest cover I've ever wanted, and it goes for two hundred nine point six. What do you What do you think about these? For? I I don't see I don't see it. Oh There's shit! Something. My bad. My bad. My bad. Hold on. There you go. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah. That's the we have that. <laughs> <laughs> is it, is it, isn't there a ratio of that book that goes for 700? Which one? The one on the left or right? The one on the left. That's the one. That's the one that, I mean, nine eights go for like, or asking or 800, but um, I've seen Raws go for 80 bucks. Yo, bro, it's so crazy because we, we literally have that book. I, How much do you guys have it for? 700. 700 Raw? No, no, no. Great. Oh. Nine point eight. I think yeah. this is the book. I think this is the book. Probably is, man. I'm almost sure. And like we were trying to figure out why it's going for like so much money. Mm -hmm. Because we like we were like, what's the what's the deal with this contest of champions book? And yes. Yeah, we, it's the first we, appearance of White Fox. Um, it's just a tough. I don't think a lot of people are buying fifty copies of the contest of champions. Am I right? It was like a one in twenty five, right? I think it's a one in fifty, but chat yeah, if I'm exactly. wrong, um, let me know. But yeah, I mean, I don't know when this book came out. It was like 2018, 16, 17. So I mean, those mini series, those mini series is were really odd to buy fifty copies of, right? That's probably a risk. Uh, along with that War of the Realms number one, this is the one in fifty Zercher variant. Um, it's ugly as hell, but I I need to complete the Rainbow, and this is the only one I'm missing in nine point eight. Uh, Fedora, have you ever seen this book or any of the Agents of Atlas number ones? Variants? Nah, the, o the only Agents of uh, uh, Atlas, I've only ever seen the White Fox one graded. Gotcha. I don't even remember when they came out, to be honest. Like, um, it was like 2000, it was right before pandemic. It was like 2019, 2019 2018. I remember Swordmaster, that was it. Yeah, that's my favorite. But I don't. Yeah, Wave is cool too. I mean, Filipino pride, but yeah, Wave. I don't think Wave's in that cover, is she? I can't even see her. That's weak, dude. Wave ain't in there. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, man. So, uh, I would buy the dip. Wild. Seven hundred is wild. I don't know if it's just tough to get nine point eight or what, but like, yeah, it's crazy. This War of the Realms. I mean, it's dipped to nine point six for two hundred. I'd take a crack at one fifty and try and repress it, man. Who knows? The CGC is like being a bunch of a-holes on their uh gradient lately but that's just me so uh next um adam legend of the blue marvel now i talked about this on the show last week being just 
a book that I like and enjoy. Uh, check this out, though, everyone. Hold on. Our fr uh, CUNY member. Let's find you. Half price crook. Found this book. And if you don't know about this book, this is a day ago. He found this book. Can you see this? Okay, good. At a half price books for a dollar ninety nine. Is that freaking just nuts? Where did he find that? I think he lives in the Midwest. I'm not sure exactly. I didn't really like ask him because it's kind of private. But uh, yeah, I don't know how the hell he found that book for that much. Yo, some yeah. people don't know what that book is. That it's book just is, like so obscure, like crazy though. Um, like. Yeah, it's very obscure, right? Uh, the writing is amazing. Very original idea. I liked how they incorporate the Avengers like immediately when this when the book came out. Uh, just um, awesome all the way around. Kingdom of Nerds has a 9.8. I have a 9.6, and I can't get a 9.8 out of it. And the trade paperback, yes, does fetch a few hundred as well. I bought the Blue Adam pre hand deck for 18, sold it for 450. Oh, my God, dude. I generally just love this book. It's 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 up there with Null. Like when I read the trade paperback, I don't, I bought I bought digital. But bro, have you ever have you ever read this book before the series? No, I know who he is. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like the Denzel hype, and it's he's gonna show up in the Marvels and all this stuff. Like, who cares, man? This this guy is just a cool character. Nine point eights are really expensive in this. Let, let me just see the last. I didn't do a lot of research on the nine point eights on this guy, but let's see. Blue Marvel. It was him and um, uh, Goliath. Goliath? It was Goliath when he died in Civil War. Well, when he got unalived in Civil War. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay. Adam Legends Blue Marvel number one. Oh, shit. 9.8. Here. So. I don't know if that's the actual price it went for, but like, I mean, under a G. Whoa, that's you know? crazy. And they don't. Here's the other thing too: is they're not selling. Like people aren't. There's not a lot of like last solds. I think because people are like, I bought this for three grand, and I don't want to take a two thousand dollar wash on it. But like yeah, but one, I mean, like the, those those like what people got to understand. Like if, if the viewers are watching. Everybody is taking these losses. Like, we're at, like in the Pokemon community, we're having these same conversations. Mm -hmm. You know, like, why is this? Why is that? There was a show that we did months ago where where Lugia sold for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and now it's like in the in the thousands. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they're having those same conversations over there. We're having these same conversations over here. You know, and it's not that bad compared to like other like people didn't put up a hundred grand for an Adam Legend of Blue Marvel. They put up three. It's still a lot yeah. of money. But like, like I, I, um, Pickles and I have the same conversations, and like I, I, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll talk with him and be like, dude, you gotta take that offer. Just take a wash on it, right off on your taxes. And he's like, well, how do you do that? I'm like, well, I'm not a CPA, so I'm not gonna tell you how to do that. But, um, yeah, I mean, you, I'd rather have the cash and just right off the loss like i have an llc like uh, that's it doesn't matter to me i'd rather just take the cash in you know you know either buy more comics less likely to do that or i'm just not going to sit on something that's decaying assets like it's like people need to understand that some of these comic books are are depreciating in value like a car does i mean a car the second you drive it off the lot it goes down in value the same thing that's happening in comic books you just what are you going to wait out for Yo, just take the L, bro. Just take the L. Take, Sell it. Take the L. And guess know? what? Inflation's doing this. So every time you like, you know, if you wait 10 years, oh, I sold it at, for a thousand bucks. That thousand dollars isn't worth what it was when you bought that comic book. So this other thing you just kind of take, take in consideration. Um, with all that said, I mean, that's a different show. Uh, anyway, but yeah, uh, I wouldn't buy this in 9.8 unless it was like 500. Even then, I'd, I'd have to kind of think about it because I already have the book. And yeah, and it might just be this. It might just be this. It's people just don't want this book. 
And I think a lot of people bought it because, and I'm present company included, um, I bought a couple 9.6s to try and crack and grade and get 9.8, and I wanted to just feed off that spec. Um, I like the character. I've, I've always, I always talk about this guy every once, once in a while because I just really generally enjoy the character. And Kevin and Kevin Graveau, I'm excellent writing. Um, he wrote that movie Underworld. He's one of the lichens in Underworld. Um, and I, actually, the only reason I would keep this book is to get signed by him and just put it up, man. I don't care. Whatever. It's all good. So anyway, next, next up, I'm gonna t- let you take this, dog. Yo, if you do this on a live yourself, do not buy this book. Trust me. I pro- tr- I can't. I'm not gonna talk about why, but trust me. Do not buy this book. Tr- trust me, deep in your heart, viewers. Trust me, please. Trust me. Do not buy this book ever, 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 ever. If you see, if you know anybody that's thinking about buying this book, tell them. Do not buy it. There's cars going off and shit behind me. Don't do it. I can't say why. Just don't do it ever, ever, ever. Thank you for the for the update, Michael Baker. Do not do it. They like. Tosin, he's he's whack. He's dead spec. He's old news. Finito. Don't 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 go back. L- l- let him stay in the pandemic days. Like if you bought this book, I'm sorry to tell you, you got beat over the head. There was this one guy on whatnot. He, he spent twelve hundred dollars. I think it was raw or something. I don't remember, but he's a mook. He's a mook guy. If you're watching, stick your head in an oven because you just burnt. Twelve hundred dollars. If you buy this book, you're burning money. You just might as well just flush six hundred dollars into the toilet. Like, if you buy this book, even if you buy because you like it, it's a waste of money. You know, I buy things that I like all the time that are like that are that are dumb. This is dumb. This is one of these things. Do not ever, ever buy this book. My rent is over. I love it, man. I mean, this is just, you know, we're just looking out for y'all. Um, like Fedora said, he can't exactly say why. However, just trust him. Um, that's why I bring him on the show. Uh, we're all about transparency or, you know, all that corny shit. But, um, yeah, don't buy this book, man. I, I always liken this book to the end, the start of the end of the comic boom. Because when this book came out, there's a lot of hype about it. The dude showed up on three pages uh every single outlet was talking about him the raws were going for damn i forgot who asked me about selling this book i think it was a homie from hawaii but i can't remember but he was like should i sell this book raw i'm like how much you get it for 25 bucks he's like yeah i go dude it's going for 600 he ended up selling for seven seven hundred bucks man seven hundred dollars you saved that man's life Congrat, congratulations, congratulations, bro! If you're yeah. watching this, clip this, send it to him. Congratulations, you yeah, won the real. game. You yeah. won. You win. Yeah. That was a year ago, too. That's the other thing, too, everyone. This book was a year ago. It feel it feels like three years ago, but it, this book came out a year ago. Um, I really had quote unquote high hopes for Black Panther or Fedora. Um. I don't know who this. What is this? How to get rid of this? Tosin. Tosin. No, sorry. There's there's some random dude on on. Um... Anyway, uh, sorry. It's 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 on a different chat. Um, I had a lot of high hopes for this character personally, just because like I mean Chadwick passed away. There was kind of like. You know who's going to take on the mantle? Are they going to are they going to do a new actor? There's kind of a little bit of uncertainty. So when this book came out, I think immediately everyone was like, "Oh, this is this is Marvel's kind of creation of chat." You know, the next Chadwick or what have you. No one really knew. There's a lot of like, are they going to go you know this way or like are they going to make Toussaint? You know all that shit. But they didn't. They didn't hit on on developing this character like for example spider boy as much as everyone shits on spider boy they do a first appearance of spider boy the guys on the top 10 or top 20 lists for like months consecutively they have an origin story i haven't read it i haven't read it i don't think i will 
and then they have a new series coming out. That's how you introduce a new character that you really want people to focus on. Spider Boy is here to stay. Like, like that's yeah. all I'm gonna say. I and I think he is too. I mean, like, I don't really, I'm not excited about the character like I was this guy. But I mean, they're doing the right thing to promote a character. That's what you have. You have to, you have to keep putting like your, you got the money to do it. So. Uh, anyway, uh, I appreciate you, Guy Cloud, McLeod, for coming through. And the chat has been amazing today. This is why I love doing the show on a Sunday. Uh, again, 14 live. That is more than I – I mean, I love it. I love you guys are watching the show, you know, on a on a Don't, on a don't buy Sunday, this book. But do not buy this book. In, don't buy this book. Don't buy this book. Save your friends from buying this book. Tell people. Spread the word. Don't buy it. Yeah, yeah. And, and, I, and listen, I don't want to police – the community, quote unquote, yeah. like that last guy that was like, "Oh my God, don't believe the community." Blah 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 blah. But I'm telling you, with every fiber in my being, if you buy this book, you're gonna regret it. You're gonna regret it. Even if you like it, it's gonna be a stain in your collection, and you're gonna look at it and you're gonna be disappointed. Ooh, this is a great question. Uh, bigger bus. This for Spawn Three Hundred Six Nether Realm variant. Oh, think... that's a good question. I don't know. I I don't know, man. Uh, I think this is a bigger bust because I think, I think, because uh, I, I, I think this. Well, you know what? I think the nether. Uh, I think the nether realm is a little bit more unfair because I think people were tricked. But I think, I think this was a bigger bust because you should have known better, right? I does that make sense? Yes. You know what I mean? Like, if you're not, if, if you, if you, quote unquote, uh, and that sounds really mean, but like, if you were paying thirteen hundred nine point eight for a comic book for a new character that came out a month prior, and there's like, no announcements on and, on if he's gonna get his own solo series, yeah. like yeah. what they're doing, like there's nothing. There was there was no follow up on like. On like, yeah. oh god, I'm gonna mute. And I, I just think it was like this one, like you should have known better. Like it, you shouldn't be buying. And I don't know if anyone did that in the chat. And I apologize if you did, but like, I'm not. I, I don't apologize. You deserve it. <laughs> okay, I get, I get, I get. All right, y'all deserve it if you're buying. Okay, I don't know one in the chat paid thirteen hundred nine point eight for this book a month after it came out. But if you did, like, you shouldn't do that. You know. I think the Nether Realm thing that, that to me was that like it was artificial, like like I think you took the community's word for that Nether Realm variant, and then if you're buying it after the news came out, then that's really on you, and that's not so much a bust. Fuck, man, I don't know. That's a good question. I see now I'm contradicting myself. I, I, I think it it really depends. Like uh, I feel like the the Nether Realm book. It's kind of more cooler, like it's kind of more like, ooh, like I want to own this now, you know, because you know, like the the controversy behind it, the drama, you know, there's still gonna be a demand for, but because like honestly, it's still kind of rare, right? I guess um, it is, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's still kind of rare, um, and with the added controversy, you know, and it, 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 it might add to it, right? Yeah, and it's fun. It's a spawn cover, so you always have spawn kind of backing it up for value. Mm -hmm. If 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 there's what, diehard spawn fans that really they really like they they really mess with you know spawn variants. There's hard, like we have like at least the first two to three hundred issues of spawn, mm -hmm. uh, all the rare variants in our back issues. People are coming in all the time looking through it, buying it. You know, there's Spawn completionists. People love Spawn. It has that going for it. I can see people spending 500 uh, It'll still be a several hundred dollar book, like, all, when yeah. it's all said and done. This if Black Panther thing? No. Do not. Don't buy it. It always says, I see you between the lines, Fedora. I'm buying this BB3. <laughs> yeah. So if Fedora, if if what I speculate why you're saying not to buy this, it's possible that we may not see Tosin in the in the form of what we needed to or people have this 
they or they need to be basically right so I, I would just say look at how marvel is handling spider boy and then look at what they're doing with tosin we ain't hear from him after that usually marvel is really smart about how they set up their characters mm. right look at what they did with swordmaster look what they did with 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 white fox look what they did with uh Aguki. uh you know, like, look what they're doing with all these characters that they're really putting the machine behind, and then look at Tosin. So, you know, we haven't heard a blip from him. He got mopped by his, like, girlfriend or something. I, like, I don't know. I didn't read it, but he yeah, got Yeah, it's consistent, man. So, so, yeah. So, who knows? Like, look, maybe, maybe, you know what? I'll humble myself. Maybe I could be wrong. Maybe several years from now, you know, a few years from now, they'll come back and they'll be like, oh, look, it's Tosin. But at that point, the hype is going to be dead. Unless yeah. they get a really good writer and then they, you know, it, there's it, it, even if he does come back, there's going to be a huge mountain to climb mm -hmm. because so many people got burnt, you know, so many people got hurt, got burnt. So it, it's going to be tough. But if you own the book and you're holding on to it and you really, yeah. really like believe in the character, you, you, you got to climb Mount Everest, bro. Like, like there's a lot of hurdles. You got to run a marathon, then climb Mount Everest to see, to see, to ever get back to that, to that peak that it needs to be. And, uh, spawn 156, I could check for you. Um, oh, I don't sure. know. Okay. Is that, is that a, uh, is that a first appearance or something? It might be, I, I'm, I'm not a big spawn guy. Um, a lot of later issues, the earlier stuff I, I was, um, real quick. We got, we got one more slide after this and, uh, I just want to do a quick plug. Uh, again, kind of in the chat. Uh, South Paul Brad. South Paul Brad and I, we're doing the show on Wednesdays, uh, kind of uh, live to answer any financial questions for you. I know Michael Baker in the chat, he he tunes in every week. Um, I'm going to send Michael Baker some. Um, yeah, just wanted to plug our show. If you guys could just kind of go through and support us every Wednesday, we're trying to, we're trying to help the, your actual wallet and grow your wealth and all that stuff and just try to help out with questions and whatnot. I'm going to start kind of ramping up shorts on this guy with kind of stock tips or just things to look out for all that stuff. So if you guys want to give us a follow or Should check I out some of our TKO shows for... T on TK in TKO. Yeah. What the, what's the WWE TKO? UFC merger. I'm going to, I'll talk about that on Wednesday. How's that? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'll talk about that on Wednesday. Yeah, I'll look into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a strong sign for the economy that there's mergers going on. I talked about that last week. Would you invest in WWE? Um, I'd rather nah. invest in Madison Square Garden, honestly, but that's just me. So uh, there's, a little, there's a little tidbit for the day. And then last but not least, I, I would, I've been seeing a lot of bronze, bronze age keys on the dip, whether it be a 4.5 all the way up to 9.0 raw, whatever, blah, blah, blah. When are we get into the NFT discussion? I will never get into NFT discussions. I do not know enough about it. However, I will, I'll tell you this, Brad, next Wednesday, I'll talk about NFT related stocks that you could invest in, not necessarily NFTs, but the companies that drive NFTs. Tune in next one. Tune in this Wednesday. Brad, where are you at? Anyway, uh, for Bird the Nerd, Spawn will be full appearance of Zara, Queen of the Seraphim, currently zero nice on the census. I'm trying to have the first. No, Brad, uh, I'm serious. Brad, I'm doing uh, it. I'm doing it next Wednesday. Uh, fo follow my at, and and I'll I'll see if we have it. Uh, I'll 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 I I'll got you. Like I'll see if we have it. Uh, but first, check the website. Uh, check the back issue website. Um, if it's not there. Cause I, I know we have a huge spawn selection. Like I like I know we do. I like I like I know we have almost every spawn book to ever spawn. Um, yeah. But yeah, like just just give me a follow and I'll I'll I'll, I'll help you out. Yeah. AOA man. Yeah. Fan, fan, fantastic four number fifty two. I saw four point five go for five hundred bucks. Really? Like, are you freaking serious, man? Like, it's it's ridiculous, man. Um, Master of Kung Fu and a nine point Richie. I'm kind of borrowing if. I know you're not in the chat, but uh, Spec Media, uh, give my homie Richie a follow. Um, he kind of put me on the lookout for a map. I have like three copies already and like 9.0. But like Fedora was saying, uh, Shang-Chi is a pretty cool movie, man. That was probably one of the ones from the pandemic era that I rewatched a couple times. I plugged it earlier with the 4K Steelbooks. Um, 
Mr. Lu, Mr. Shimchi Lu. I forgot the dude's name. I totally butchered it. Sorry. Samuel Lu. Samuel Lu. I mean, he's he's a very charming actor. I think you have other. Um, yes, yeah, to Spec Media. Richie's a good people. Uh, on Fridays with the true top ten, Mr. Stein, uh, giving you guys a plug there too, and Brian as well. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Tomb of Dracula. That's also kind of like one of those, you know, first appearance of Blade. You know, forget the MCU spec. You know, um, I keep saying, you know, forget the MCU stuff. These are Bronze Age keys that you should be buying versus what was that one we were talking about earlier? Uh, so if you, so here, here's, here's a pretty easy thing. If you're buying 450 for this book in 9.8 and you're not buying a Fantastic Four 52 in a 4.5, for the same price, you don't, that's not good value you're getting there. You're just not, you know, that, that fan, Black Panther is going to be like, I would, I would like, like when the crow came out, the movie and Brandon Lee passed away, he was not famous. Like he was just known as being Bruce Lee's son. Right. But I still remember the, the kind of the, the mystery and the unfortunate case of him passing away. And it still kept a very small, uh, very loyal fan base to the crow. That's even like till today. That's still Most people the, don't even know it's a comic. Right. They know it as a movie, right? So if you're going to put that same kind of category, category with Fantastic Four and first appearance of Blade, Chadwick Boseman, I mean, he's going to be forever Black Panther. I mean, he got people emotional. They're, that that that's never gonna go away, and if they recast him, like cool. But like I, even if they don't, which they probably won't, um, you're still gonna want the original Black Panther, in my opinion. Uh, Tomb of Dracula, dude. I don't know how many times I watched that Blade movie, like the original Blade movie. I still watch it this day, man. And back in the day, I I didn't realize he was a Marvel character. Um, obviously they're possibly revamping it. Cool, but like, dude, if you can get that for like 1900 in 9.0 9.2 i mean i think that's a pretty good buy and again Ma uh, i'll round it up master kung fu was going for like let's just take a look real quick and then we'll end the show and do the giveaway uh master let's do master of kung fu number 15 and it's a bronze age book guys uh in a 9.0 let's see how much one sold for okay maybe not uh let's see, let's try 9.2 9.2 went for 590 bucks. That's pretty good. Let's see what an 8.5 goes for. I'm guessing it's like 200. Okay, that's that's not right. Uh, let's see what an 8.0 go went for. Okay, 8.0 went for 270. So signed by Jim Starlin went for 1,050. Now, albeit that was July 7th, but uh, let's see. Let's see a 9.4. 831 bucks for a 9.4? I mean, that's a pretty good deal, in my opinion. So, anyway, uh, that is the show for today. But let's do a giveaway. How, how about that, guys? Uh, hold on one second. Let me go back to the report. So, let's see here. Uh... Yeah, just to, to while he gets all that ready to close this out, bronze, silver age all the way. Modern is like... In my opinion, like modern is like whatever. Uh, if you're not getting anything in modern for cover, like it's not even worth chasing. In my opinion, uh, there's like a lot of variants that I, I've like been super into that I've been collecting because I like them. Um, and th and there's a lot of characters that I I, I really like, uh, like the Necroco, the Sailor Moon character. I like I like that character. Um, so you know I got the variant. And, um, yeah, man, like, so, you know, like, essentially, buy what you like for cover when it comes to modern. If you're not getting cover, it ain't worth it. Just just write it off as a loss and you missed it. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to take the loss and you feel better at the, at the end. Or, I mean, if, you really, if you're like, I don't want to take the loss, you better hang that up on your wall. That's what's going to be. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I you don't know. What I mean? <laughs> okay let's see here oh we got we got the man omar in the chat what up omar 
Uh, let's see here. So I here I'll I'll share I'll share this tab real quick. So oh, my phone is on. I gotta go. Okay, dog. We're gonna do this giveaway. All right, man. You get you have a good day, man. I'll thanks, talk to you later, everybody. Bro. Thanks everybody for tuning in to the Fedora for for Dora. <laughs> That's what somebody coined it. I don't know who coined it uh, in the chat, so. but. Yeah, somebody said that. <laughs> That's hilarious. So shout out to whoever said that. Uh, be careful out there, because people will don't buy that book. With these, don't buy that book. With these deals, don't. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't buy that book, please. I'm begging you, don't buy that book. So have a good day. I love you all. Like, follow, subscribe, and all that all good that stuff. stuff. Thanks, bro. I'll see you soon, or I'll talk to you soon. All right. Uh, so if you don't see yourself in the giveaway, we're giving away these two books today. Um, there's our first appearance in this guy. And then just because I love Shang-Chi, old school stuff, I uh, just want to throw that in there as well. But if you don't see yourself in the giveaway and you want to be part of it, um, I don't care if you just got into the channel uh, it or like didn't watch the whole show. It, it does not matter to me. Uh, let's see here. I want to give a plug to my boy Omar. Oh, this collective. If you are, if you have any interest in toys or just a hell of a good time, follow the homie Lost Cause Collective on YouTube as well. Um, Omar's in the chat. And he's a big supporter of the channel, so I appreciate him. Blackheart first. That's right, Blackheart. I can't remember, but um, so. Again, we got seven entries into the giveaway. Brad, are you in there? Yeah, Brad's in there. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the giveaway. And again, I'll probably throw in another like modern book just for fun. Uh, again, I want, I want to thank everyone for coming through live. We had 19 at one point, almost 20 on a Sunday during football. I know it's halftime for a lot of games right now, but uh, I do really appreciate y'all coming through. Uh, that's why I do these giveaways to, as a thank you for everyone. And again, if you guys could like, subscribe to this channel, uh, our Sunset to South channel. Again, Brad, I'm going to, you inspire me, man. I'm going to do an NFT companies like stock lookout or whatever. We're trying to grow that channel as well because uh, I work in the mortgage industry and I do follow equities and all that good stuff. So yeah, let's run this giveaway and we'll send you guys off. All right, here we go. AOA, congratulations, man. Good stuff. Stop sharing. Oh, no, that's not right. All right, cool, man. Well, I appreciate you all coming through. AOA, hit me up on IG. Congrats to you. Congrats to AOA. <laughs> Dude, you're cracking up, man. Um, yeah, told, I rigged. Yeah, I, I, I agree. It was rigged. Uh, next Sunday, we'll be doing a show again. I apologize for kind of the background noise here. We're doing some work on the house and all that stuff. But again, I appreciate you all coming through. Omar, uh, I plug you. You can you can plug your your uh, your your show on the chat and all that good stuff. We'll see you next Sunday. Hopefully, Jason will or Pickles will join me for sure. We'll try and have Fedora on as well. Uh, watch out for me on Wednesdays with Sunset to South. Please uh, help us out with that channel as well. If you're into finance or just have questions about investing or all that good stuff. Um, Guy McLeod, thanks for coming through. Good stuff. And uh, I will, I'm going to send you a spawn book too, just for fun. Michael Baker, uh, hit me, Michael, hit me up on, on Instagram. I got something for you too, man. But uh, everyone, you all have a great Sunday. Take care and we'll see you next week.